Hi, and we're back. All right, so everything is somewhat dry. We're going to do a little bit of stamping. Right now I'm using Stays On in Timber Brown. Whenever doing mixed media, you want to use things that are permanent so that when you're doing your layers, you don't have anything that runs or bleeds into one another. So I'm using a sponge and I'm dabbing it into my Timber Brown Stays On ink. And the parts where we did the modeling paste, I'm just kind of dabbing the brown. Okay, and then up here in the corner, I'm doing the same thing. You see the circles, the honeycomb starting to come through? Okay. Okay, my daughter's doing her own crafting, so every now and then she may come in to ask me a few questions where she can use something or she can borrow something we had. It was a snow day, but it wasn't any snow. Okay, now I'm taking the same sponge and I'm brushing the edges of my, of my page. And basically, if you see what I'm doing, I'm kind of just like like running it over the edge so the whole edge now is going to have this timber brown and I love this effect it kind of gives it like a an old vintage look to it it's, it's just like real smoky along the edges okay do the same thing over here because we want it to all look uniform one whole page for some stamping. Okay, let's put this down. And I love these. I have these wonderful stamps. They're by Christy Tomlinson, wonderful mixed media artist. And um, you could see I use these a lot. I gotta clean them. Um, they have the adhesive because you can mount them. I choose to keep them like this because I take them and I just kind of press them randomly all over my page so I don't want them on a block I feel like it's too restrictive for me um, and this has this is uh, like kinda like crisscross and then this has um, beautiful sayings on it so um, I know I have writing on here but now I'm gonna go in and just kind of put some of these on there too. So I think um, I want to grab some hmm, what color do I want to put back in here? Maybe uh, some green. So I'm going to grab some green. This is um, Sap Green Archival Ink. It's permanent water waterproof ink. Okay, and the brand name is Ranger. So I have this one. It almost looks like a lattice. Okay, and just 
in random places. I don't know if the camera is picking it up. It doesn't look like, now that I'm looking at my computer, it's not really picking it up. I may have to zoom in on that once I'm done. I'll show you. But, um, it's, it's something that's there. It's a, an added layer, an added texture. Um, it's very subtle, but you see it peeking through. And you can pick and choose what you want to kind of overpower. One thing, if there's one particular texture that you really like, that you really want to really showcase, then, you know, then you do that. Um, you know, and you decide what which one you like. Alright, and now for the writing, I kind of want this to show up a little bit more. So with that, I'm going to use the Timber Brown. And I'm going to go ahead and load it up with my ink. Make sure that it's facing in the right direction. I don't want my words upside down. Okay, so that's done. And now we got to think about our character. We need to be putting a character on this page, and um. Today while I was at work I sketched one out and I thought it might be fun um, to draw one out and, and dress her with fabric. Something different. So I have my character drawn out. Um, I kind of started her. And um, basically I'm going to cut her out and she's going to sit on this page. And then what I did was I traced her dress and I traced it onto fabric and I cut the fabric out. And this is the little dress that she's going to be wearing. And these are her, this is an accent piece, a little sparkle. So I thought it'd be fun. I've never. done a video with um, me actually putting fabric on my journal pages so this should be fun okay so my page is done for now you know and I'm gonna put her on I'm gonna cut her out and when I come back she'll already be mod I'm gonna mod podge her right onto my page and um, I'll mod podge her dress on and then I'll come back and she'll be on the page and then I'll show you how I finish this page off. Okay? Alright, see you in a few.